Okay, hi. Um, this will be a tutorial on 3A3C, which is a skip to, as the name implies, skip 3B, um, which is the office. If you need any help, this will only concern the chain part, if you need any help with anything before that, like the 3A main movement up to 3A3C, or the climb up to the watts to 3A3C, um, I'll put a link into the description, which will contain the um, Mirror's Edge resources, um, spreadsheet where you can find all the other tutorials there um, yeah so okay once you get up here which is which will be around here um, you want to go into this corner like just somewhere around here and aim like somewhere around there this is how I set it up you can this goes for almost everything in this video you can do it other ways um, this is what works for me if you do have troubles um, lining it up the way I do, I suggest um, looking at another tutorial which you might find in the resource hub. If you don't, um, I'll put another link in the description where you can find the Discord, like which is an invite to the Discord server, to the Mirror's Edge Speedrunning Discord server. Um, and you can just ask in the help section, and a few people will probably be very happy to help you out. Um, just in general, um, you can also ask questions there, so if you need any help, um, join that server and you get your questions answered probably. So um, I line it up here, so I go into this corner and I look around there and I sidestep. And I sidestep, let me do a checkpoint here, I sidestep around two rounds, yeah here. Um, so I line myself up here um, with this third, whatever this is, um, and I jump, uh, like I walk onto this. And once I'm around halfway onto it, or halfway on this uh, ledge, I jump and hit reaction time. Um, reaction time is not like necessary for this skip, but it makes a lot of stuff very easy. Um, I cannot do this without reaction time, and I find it very hard to do it re without reaction time, so I suggest you start out with reaction time as well. Um, if it bothers you that you use reaction time, you can just um, practice it without, but I would recommend uh, you start, start out with reaction time. Um, so I go onto this ledge, and you can see this rectangle here. Um, I aim towards like the middle, somewhere to the middle, so I land there, and then I do a straight kick glitch into a wall boost. Um, I don't know how strong the wall boost is in numbers, like how, how fast you go. Um, if you really need that, you can have a look at the bottom right um, of the screen, where you can find the speedometer, which is a um, tool to help you practice stuff. And look at the small v, which is my current, um, my current speed. Um, and you can see how much you're supposed to go, how fast you're supposed to go. So you want a straight kick glitch. Um, keep in mind that if you do not go at it like at this angle, um, jump at it at this angle, if you go from another specific one, I don't know which one it is exactly, but um, it's like, I think it's like around somewhere here. Um, you might get stuck in the wall, like around here, uh, which will kill all your momentum and you fall down to your death and you'll spawn wherever you set your checkpoint. Um, so yeah, avoid that, <laughs> and uh, this work tends to work for me if I line this up properly. Again, if you have problems with this lineup, you can have uh, a look at another tutorial and see if that one works for you. Um, so yeah, once I get here, I press reaction time and space at the same time. Um, you can also start reaction time somewhere else if you want to. Um, and yeah, you kick glitch off this, get a straight kick glitch and wall boost immediately, get a strong and deep wall boost. Um, I'll show you in a second how to, how I line that up. Um, and you land around like here, where you want to get another war run. <laughs> where you want to get another war run and um, get a wide angle kick glitch off it. So you want to wait like just a split second on this wall before kicking. Uh, that will send you off this direction and you'll be like around here, like at this side. Um, 
And here what you want to do is you want to get this right top corner of the building into the right top corner of your screen like that. And while doing that wall boost off this wall. And you should get the um, checkpoint that's like in the middle in the air right now. Um, if you do not, you might be too too slow. If you do not get this wall boost at all, um, you might be looking too far into the wall. Uh, or you, again, too slow to even reach that wall with any momentum to get a uh, wall run going. Um, or you might just be like not looking into the wall enough. So this wouldn't be uh, enough, like as like enough of a wall boost to get as much speed as you need. Um, yeah, again, if you have any problems with this after this tutorial, um, make sure to join this Discord server and other people will probably help out. Um, okay, so what I do to line up this wall boost that it's strong enough is when I kick glitch this, I try to look as far into the wall as possible without getting a wall climb afterwards. Um, and for me, that is like, I look like a bit at the down angle. Not much though, just about this. And as soon, like I, I drag my mouse in, s so f like I drag it so far in so that this corner disappears from the le left side of my screen completely. So like about this, and then I do it even further. So just about this angle is where I look at. And it should be strong enough to get enough speed for the rest of the kick glitch chain. Or chain just in general, it's just one kick glitch, no it's two. Whatever. So, so yeah, um, stay like here and look at this building and just, or actually you probably just have to look a bit more to the left because I always move my mouse a bit to the left before I sidestep, so like about here probably, yeah. So this is how it should look. And if you press tab, you will see that another objective has um, appeared. This is different from the previous objective. And um, this is what I do in practice. You don't have to press tab. It's just a faster way to see if you got the skip or not without dying. In, um, in full game runs, you'll see a loading icon. I think it's in the bottom left, might be in the bottom right. I think it's in the bottom left. Um, and if you get that, you know you got the skip. Um, if this objective doesn't change to this one right, that's right here, um, you also didn't get the skip, and that might be because you're too low. I don't think, might be wrong, but I don't think you can go um, too high. But if you get this, at least not with my method, um, but if you don't get this, you're probably too slow or lost some height somewhere. Um, yeah, if you don't want to, like, there's another way to see if you got the skip, and that's just by dying. Uh, either by uh, using the suicide keybind. Um, which you have to just to set um, or just by like falling down here and if you spawn in the middle of the air like the air uh, you get the skip and what you do in um, in full game runs is you quit out and press continue game and you will be spawning in 3c uh, so yeah I hope that helped um, if you have any more questions you can write a comment on this video or you can Preferably uh, go into the Discord server and ask in the help channel. Um, and yeah, I hope this helped. So, bye.